complementary and supplementary angles with the TI-89. For this and tutorials such as these, visit the website www.titutor.com. If the sum of two positive angles is 90 degrees, the angles are called supplementary. Let's take a look at the analytic solution. Here we want to find the measures of the two angles 6m plus 3m and if we take a look at the drawing we see that both of the angles form a 90 degree angle so we'll simply set 6m plus 3m equal to 90 and we'll attempt to solve for m so we'll combine like terms on the left hand side we'll divide by 9 therefore m is equal to 10 and next we'll back substitute m for the value 10 so our first angle 6 times m will give us a measure of 60 degrees. Our next angle 3 times m, m is 10, that will give us a measure of 30 degrees. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. We're going to use the solve on the TI-89 calculator and here are the keystrokes. Once we turn on our calculator, we'll simply hit F2, which is the algebra section. Notice that the first option, solve, is highlighted. This is what we want, so we'll simply press Enter. Next, we'll put in our function 6m. So notice that m is a purple function, so I'm going to hit alpha and 5 for m plus 3m is equal to 90. I'm going to use a comma and we're going to put in a variable of our function which is m. We're going to close off the function and we're going to hit enter for a value of 10. Next we'll store m for 10 and substitute into the figure to get the measures of our angles. So here we'll simply take the value 10. We'll store that using the stow feature. We're going to store that for m. We'll hit enter to lock that in. So it's now storing 10 for M. So to find out our first angle measure, we'll hit 6M, which gives us 60. And for our next angle, 3 times M, which gives us a value of 30. So our two angle measures are 60 and 30. Let's take a look at supplementary angles. If the sum of two positive angles is 180, then the two angles are supplementary. Let's take a look at the analytic solution. From the diagram, we see that we have two angles, 4K plus 6K, the sum of whose angles are 180. So we'll set that up in the form of an equation. We'll combine like terms on the left. We'll divide by 10 for a result of 18. Next, we'll back substitute for two angle measures of 72 and 180. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. And here again, we're going to use the solver function. So once again, that's F2. We want the solve function, so we'll press Enter. We want to put in 4K. So notice that K is located above the EE key plus 6K is equal to 180. We're going to put in a comma and a variable of our function is K. We're going to close off the solve function with the in parentheses. 
we're going to hit enter for a value of 18. Next, we'll substitute or store K for 18 and substitute the value 18 in our angle measures. So we'll simply take the number 18. We're going to store that for K. We'll simply lock it in with enter. And now we want to find the value of the 4K angle. And we can see that at 72. And 6 times K gives us 108. So the two measures are 72 and 108.